Welcome back, Coinsy World. Today, we're gonna be welding thin square tubing for beginners. I'm gonna show you guys a few techniques that have helped me improve on my gasless flux cord welding. The first and one of my favorite techniques is the little C technique, or some people call it little waves. Okay, I have about a half inch stick out. Remember, you don't want it straight perpendicular, you want it at a little angle. And if it, remember guys, if it leaves a slag, you have to drag. Now let's go ahead and get this bad boy started. I always like to go ahead and do a few dry runs to see where I'm gonna end up once I finish my weld. That way I know how to position my body according to what's gonna happen next. Okay, so here are the little C's. Remember, tight little C techniques, tight little C's, tight little C's, slow drag, slow drag. Remember, try to keep the same distance the whole way through, half inch stick out. Try to keep the same speed the whole way through. Remember, keep practicing, 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 practicing. Stay till the end to see the results. Also, YouTube family, if you haven't already, hit the like, smash, and subscribe. Coinsy Weld, stay tuned for the next upcoming videos. I'm gonna be doing a lot of flux core welding for beginners and flux core welding basics. So ladies and gentlemen, these are the results of the first technique we're going to go over today. Let's go ahead and get started on the next one, which is really cool. Tight little circles all the way through. You always want to come back and eat half of the previous circle you just welded. Remember, you don't want it perpendicular straight. You want it a little angle. And if it leaves a slag, you have to drag. Always do dry runs to see how your body is going to be once you finish that weld. That way you know how you need to position your body and where it needs to be when the weld is happening and when it finishes. You need to be comfortable the whole way through. Brace yourself. Breathe. Even when you breathe, you discombobulate yourself. You either go up or down when you inhale, exhale. Nice tight little circles. I try to keep my distance half inch the whole way through. I try to keep my speed the whole way through. I try to keep the puddle consistent the whole way through. I look at the toes of the weld on both sides of the weld. Remember, don't forget to hit the like, smash the subscribe if you haven't already joined the YouTube family. Stay to the end to see these final results. This is the tight little circles technique for gasless flux core welding for beginners. This is also considered gasless flux core welding basics. Okay, so see this? Nice, tight little circles. Looks like a nice little wave. Stacking dimes, stacking dimes. Let's go. Gasless flux core welding for beginners. These are two techniques that have helped me improve in my gasless flux core welding. Thank you so much. Don't forget to hit the like, smash, and subscribe. Stay tuned. Coinsy Welds.